Hello everybody, my name is Sniper and Fun, and today I'm going to be presenting all of you guys yet another YouTube video giving my thoughts on another different topic. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking a quick little something about uh, the upcoming Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 3. And something I really kind of, myself personally, believe, and I actually hope some other people kind of hope and believe this too, and want this too, from the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 3, as well as any future Kingdom Hearts game for that matter. And this is, and, and it's basically just a thought process I kind of just recently, like, you know, kind of came, like, you know, came across my mind, like, why they've done it, like, this certain way, but they haven't done it like this, like anything else, like, you know, going further with it. And basically that's this, like, so far, the cameos that we've seen from other, you know, from Square Enix in, you know, Kingdom Hearts have always, since day one, since 2002, with the PS2 game, have always been, besides obviously the world ends with you on Dream Drop Distance, have always been Final Fantasy. But it's like, um, why, like, I'm just wondering at this point now, like, why haven't we seen any other Square, you know, soft Square Enix character represented as a cameo in these games? It's always been Final Fantasy, and basically it's always been either 7, 8, or 10, and we have never seen Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, uh, 12, I don't think, uh, oh, 10, too, but I'm going to count that as with the 10 universe, and, well, 13, obviously, no recent game has really come out to kind of represent the 13 universe. But it's always been, like, specifically 7, 8, and 9, I mean, 7, 8, and 10, and then, of course, the world ends with you during Dream Drop Distance, because that was the original DS game. So it kind of made sense to kind of throw them there, I guess that's what they were going for. But, like, no other IP, no other franchise from Square Enix has ever cameoed in it, and I think that's kind of a shame. Like, you could easily represent Dragon Quest characters in, you know, Kingdom Hearts, uh, the Bouncer... You know, various other characters in the Kingdom Hearts universe, like, in there, as well as, obviously, expanding the Final Fantasy, you know, representation, because it's, uh, we've seen Cloud enough times in Squall enough times, how about we throw in, like, Zidane, or, or, or Terra, or Cecil, they're obviously going to probably throw Lightning in the, fire, in the Final Fantasy XIII cast into Kingdom Hearts three, and I'm sure Final Fantasy XV's cast is probably going to show up in Kingdom Hearts three as well, but, you know, they're representing more Final Fantasies and more, you know, universes from the Square Universe. I'm wondering if maybe some of them are holding off because maybe it's just the Enix characters versus just the original Square characters. Maybe the reason why they're not doing Dragon Quest or anything, but they're all one big company now. And I really think it would make sense to kind of, you know, not just have it be a crossover between Final Fantasy and Disney, but Square Enix as a whole in Disney. Because Square Enix has so many other franchises than just Final Fantasy. Like, just imagine you can team up with a slime, or fight a slime, or fight with some of the heroes from Dragon Quest. You can team up with Sion from the Bouncer, which would kind of be really weird because Sion looks a lot like Sora and was kind of like the original, almost like character game before Sora, and kind of they based his look off of, Sora's look off of him. You know, or Dominique and all the Volts and all those characters from the Balancer on the PS2 and various other Square Enix games they've, they've had. Keep the World Ends With You stuff and, you know, characters like that. In my opinion, I think, personally, Kingdom Hearts should start representing more Square Enix franchises than just Final Fantasy. And when it comes to the Final Fantasy cameos and the Final Fantasy representation, you need to represent other ones more than just, like, 7, 8, and 10. Now, I don't want these cameos, and don't want this, like, you know, cameos from Final Fantasy and other Square Enix franchises to override the entire universe of Kingdom Hearts, because it's mostly original characters with a lot of Disney stuff in it. I don't want them to be taking, like, every single Square thing and throwing it in there, because that's not really what Kingdom Hearts is. Kingdom Hearts is basically, you know, a, like, a Square Enix meets Disney, but Disney is the main focus with the original characters, like Sora and Riku, Kairi, Xehanort, and stuff like that. We don't need to be seeing, like, Cloud, Terra, Sion, uh, Slime, uh, Lightning and everything just ride all over the place in the freaking story and be in main components and everywhere all over the place. Because 
that will take away from like you know the main cast and the Disney aspects. But I do think when it comes to the universe of Kingdom Hearts, I do believe it would be best and really kind of cool and have a lot of variety if we start adding more universes from the Square Enix lineup of franchises than just Final Fantasy. That's my thoughts. Put in the comment section what you guys think. Do you want to see other Square Enix franchises represented in, Final F in, in, in uh, Kingdom Hearts? Do you want to also see other Final Fantasies represented in Kingdom Hearts that are not, you know, 7, 8, and 10? Um, put in the comments section what you guys think. We can discuss it down there. I'm looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3 and future Kingdom Hearts games. All you Kingdom Hearts fans out there, stay tuned for more Kingdom Hearts videos and other related videos on my channel. We can discuss it down there. Have some fun. I'll talk to you all later. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. My name is Mike Fun. Have a lovely day.